Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich here. The uh, rain is finally moving out. We got some lingering showers, but we're all clear from severe now. We're still watching a few storms now near the coast, near the uh, Myrtle Beach area, Grand Strand, but it's been a rough day for South Carolina. Be count your blessings if you live north and you only saw heavy rain because it has been a huge tornado outbreak in parts of Georgia and South Carolina. Let's go right to the radar. Uh, there are some lingering showers out there. You can see them showing up. Uh, on the radar, but these are non-severe, just some little showers out there. What we're really watching is the storms kind of exit off to the southeast. Still got some warnings down in the Myrtle Beach area, but boy, it was a rough day um, to our south. That low pressure system moved through and really caused quite a bit of damage and several confirmed tornado touchdowns, especially around Allendale. There was two separate tornadoes that went through that area. I'm going to widen this out. These are all the tornado warnings, or what I just said tornado warnings, reports of tornadoes that we had today. Not even the warnings. There's way more warnings than that actually out there. In fact, if I query this real quickly, I'll show you the number of reports. Uh, 39 reports of either funnel clouds or tornadoes. Uh, 36 of those um, um, tornadoes. So we'll see how many are confirmed, but Based on the radar signatures, holy cow, they were just so impressive. So the severe weather risk the rest of the evening um, pretty much is off to the east. You could probably whittle this away. It's pretty much going down to low. Tomorrow, though, we've got risk number two. Now, I've been talking about this the last couple days. It's very deceiving because you see, oh, my, the risk is high tomorrow, but the number of storms will be less. We're not going to see a giant shield of rain. In fact, some of us might not see any rain at all tomorrow, unlike today where there was just a giant um, area of rain where everybody got in on the action. This is going to be a front that moves through with scattered showers and storms late tomorrow into early Thursday because you can see the risk then moves out to the coast. We actually have some severe weather likely out here as we go into Thursday afternoon. So let's break this down hour by hour. Um, you see the storms moving out tonight. We'll go through tomorrow. Really warm day. Probably going to get into the 80s in some locations. But in the afternoon, that warm, humid air could lead to some isolated storms. So by 8 o'clock, doesn't look like much right now. Again, these, not a ton of them, but anything that develops could be severe tomorrow evening. And again, as we go into the overnight hours to see some of these storms, especially to the west, this time, uh, western part of the viewing area into the upstate is going to be the higher risk area. There, the, some of those storms could be rotating um, and potentially some isolated wind damage or an isolated tornado, not out of the realm of possibility. And then we go to three, four in the morning. Here we are. We're still watching some strong storms because the cold front is here moving across the region and then it moves to the east by 7 a.m and starts to move out but look at that even in the morning we're dealing with some scattered strong storms so this is going to be kind of an overnight event um, as it moves through now what are the main concerns just like today i'm primarily worried about flooding um, the tornado risk is there it's low but it's uh, probably third on the list unless things change dramatically during the overnight period into tomorrow. The thing I'll watch is how much fuel for storms do we have during the day tomorrow. Pretty robust area of Cape or thunderstorm fuel. We've got low to moderate levels across the area. Now it starts to wane with the loss of, uh, of heating of the day, but as we go into Thursday morning, some tries to perk back up. So not a ton of Cape, what we call thunderstorm fuel, but a lot of shear. And again, the tornado parameter combines those two things, the fuel for storms and the changing winds with height, which we call wind shear, um, that potentially could bring tornadoes. So you see that, you know, these are all less than one, but there's some there, especially in the evening, you know, perks up a little bit there ahead of the front. And then look at this, early in the morning on Thursday, four or five in the morning, you've got a little cluster um, south of Charlotte, and then as the front moves through. So this timing is gonna be really crucial um, on when that front moves through here. If that thing picks up speed and gets here sooner in the day, we might have more of a severe weather risk in the evening tomorrow. Right now, it looks like, you know, these isolated storms ahead of the, the line are something to watch, but also down here. One big fly in the ointment is actually those storms down here. They could rob some of the moisture coming north. So if you want to watch the radar tomorrow and kind of figure out, hey, are we going to see severe storms or not? A couple of things. Look what's happening along the front, but also look what's happening to our south. Is, is those storms developing? Are those storms developing, I should say? And are they going to be, you know, blocking the inflow? Because if we see a whole bunch of storms developing down here in the Florida Panhandle, southern Georgia, uh, parts of um, southern, uh, uh, the low country, South Carolina, this would block this moisture from getting up here. There wouldn't be quite as much, <coughs> excuse me, energy for these storms to build off of. But even so, I think once the front gets here, you're going to see 
at least clusters of showers and storms through Thursday morning. Then it moves out, and yeah, it's cold enough that that is some snow in the North Carolina mountains. It's a real deal. That's a serious cold front. So stay weather aware late tomorrow. The good news is during the day, we should have plenty of time to watch this system. Unlike today, where things started 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 2, 3 o'clock, and ramped up into the evening, then moved out. There will be nothing in the afternoon until late evening and really overnight into early Thursday. Of course, I'll have updates tonight at 11, and I will do a vlog first thing tomorrow morning as we get ready for round two of severe weather here in the Carolinas. Please be safe out there. Everyone affected by the tornadoes down in South Carolina, we're thinking about you. Everybody else, please think about those people impacted. It's going to be a rough recovery for many folks down in South Carolina.